Just went to Louis, now we're going to Gucci. Bro, what? What's going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, we're actually at the mall. Yeah, you guys wanted to see a day in life, so here we are in the Kicker Frusha Mall in Philadelphia, or a little outside of Philadelphia. I'm looking to go pick up some stuff at the Louis V store, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. Later on, we're actually gonna be going to a supercar dealer. I'm not gonna tell you where we're going, just know it's a fire spot, so let's go ahead to the store. Louis V store, about to pick up, hopefully, a jacket. I wear the same jackets all the time, so I'm looking to get something better. It looks like there's no line, so we're gonna go check it out and see what's good. Sounds good, thank you. So I'm getting a jacket here. And I'm also gonna go to Gucci after this because I'm feeling a little dangerous. It's gonna be 17.70. Right. Have a good one. Thanks. Wait, we got a lot of people coming here. It's uh, Animal Crossing right now. Waiting to cross the, uh, cross the lane here. All right, just went to Louis. Now we're going to Gucci because I'm feeling dangerous. So let's go ahead. Hey, man. Those are just like standard Gucci logos on them. Do you have any more like other unique stuff in the back or no? Like t-shirt wise? Yeah. No. Gear. Just these? Damn, okay. All right, we just left the Gucci and the St. Laurent store. Complete dust, so we're just walking out with this. Now we're gonna be going over to Shake Shack, picking up some food real quick, and then we're gonna be heading over to the exotic car dealership. I'm actually disappointed the Gucci store was actually so bad. It wasn't worth spending any money on anything this time. So we're gonna cut it here, get something to eat, and I'll see you guys later. All right, you guys, we're officially out of the mall. I got what I wanted. I'm gonna change real quick. I'll throw it on for you guys, let you know how it looks. Monogram, all blacked out. I think it looked pretty sharp. I'll throw it on real quick. All right, here we go. This is it for it. There's some jackets in there that they were like five grand. I tried them on and I was really thinking about it, but I was like, that's a little bit too crazy. And I didn't even really like the, I didn't like the jacket that much to even spend that kind of money. So I was like, I'm gonna just get this. It, it's, it is ridiculous off the charts. But this is a little bit more reasonable and I do like the way it fits. I do like the style. So right now guys, I'll catch you in the next clip. We're about to pull up to McLaren dealer. All right, you guys, all jokes aside, I wanted to put that song because I, I thought it would be funny. We're pulling up to the McLaren dealer. It's actually right here in a minute. Oh, they got an SVJ out? Oh, shit. They got all the goods. All the goods for us. Yeah, all the goods. They got an Aston Martin there. Rest in peace, Aston Martin. If you guys didn't know, the 720S is one of my favorite supercars. It's probably going to be my next supercar, if I'm being honest with you. And of course, we are at McLaren in Philadelphia, if you couldn't tell. I just love the 720S. Like, I know, I love the color. And then the wing, of course, comes up when um, you're braking and stuff. But do they have more options here than last time? They got Astons, they have Lambos, they got Porsches. Let's go ahead and decide. How many of these have they made, do you know? 149. 149? That's crazy. That guy's going to buy the Alpha? No. Oh, oh. I was going to say, damn. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> Woo! Come closer, come closer. Check it out inside. We got the red, or the, what am I saying? We got the orange interior, orange highlights. Door up. We got this shit on lock. Bro, this is nuts. Does this thing have like a, a modded exhaust, do you think? This shit's so loud. Bro, I'm barely tapping the pedal and that shit's going like that, that loud. Oh, you guys can hear me. I got the camera out there where y'all can hear me inside of here. Just listen to the engine in idle. Oh, we got Boston on? What? Yeah? I hope the microphone picked up that audio as good as it is in person, because if you guys have never heard a McLaren 720S in person, you need to. I used to love Lamborghinis. They got an SVJ over there. We'll show you guys in a little bit, but I used to really love Huracans, but man, I don't know how a Huracan can compete with the 720S. They're around the same price range for the most part, especially the Huracan Evo. The Huracan just looks more aggressive, I guess you could say, but this just looks more curvy and luxury. Go ahead and show the inside while I'm not in there real quick. We have the double dihedral doors up or butterfly doors, whatever you want to call them. You got to play by different rules. We were at Shake Shack earlier. There's people in there working hard, really hard, but they don't get paid what they work for. You guys need to figure out a way to escape the system, of course. And that's what this whole channel is about. 
helping you guys actually create your own online business. But this is just another part of opening your mind and showing you what's actually doable in life. This is like one day in a life video. I got a whole bunch of requests actually in my Discord and private DMs saying, yo, bro, do a day in the life. If you haven't already, of course, I'm always there teaching software, teaching go high level. This is a funny time to go ahead and plug. But if you're not now, our agencies yet, make sure you guys join. You guys will be able to go ahead and build your own agency, your own SaaS agency. I give you guys all the steps to do it. And you actually even get access to text me one on one and get an entire blueprint to grow your SaaS agency. I'm I'm gonna cut here and I'll see you in a moment. Bro, what? That is horrendous. That's insane. That is horrendous. Ugh. Damn, this shit is not comfortable at all. What does it feel like? It's really sturdy, really just not comfortable if I'm being quite honest with you. I've never sat in an SVJ before, so this is my first time. This is my first time experiencing it. This is insane. It's hugging me. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There's so much. It's not very comfortable at all. Not at all. Give it a, give it a baby rev. Yeah. Baby one. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude. Uh, I don't even want to go to like 5,000 RPMs. So That'd be screaming. This is a spider. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like, it's not really the best build. It's like blue with like yellow on it. That's actually oh, a, 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 it's a weird spec. You like that? I like that. It's cool. Yeah. On the wheels, it's all the way through. Mm -hmm. He wanted to do like yellow livery along the side, but ended up scrapping it. But yeah, it looks awesome. I mean, the LT Spider, I mean, it's just absolutely prime car. So, so good. This airs perfectly on on our performance side with the luxury feel. You know, the fit and finish is perfect. The seats are, you know, you get like these nice carbon fiber bucket seats. Uh, what do you have to say about this car? The SVJ? Bro, the SVJ. I think it speaks for itself. You guys saw the inside of that. SVJ is a limited edition type of event of a uh, Aventador. Only a certain amount of them have been made. I don't know the exact number, but I do know that they're a collectible car, so they do hold their value more than most other Lamborghinis or other supercars. Especially this color, really, really dope. Really bright if you want to be to be loud. I like bright colors. I love bright cars, and this was this is definitely up my alley, but definitely not more uh, of a practical kind of car to drive. If you guys don't know, Fresh Prince CEO, one of the guys I talk to in my network, he actually has an SVJ. His is red though. I'll throw a picture on the screen for you guys to see. His is actually a drop top. I know it's cold, right? All right, we're back. This is a realistic day in the life, right? So it's not all about going out and driving supercars. So here, I'm actually at my boy's house. This is his setup. I think it's a really cool, colorful setup here. Got my own laptop to get some work done, get back to you guys on Discord within Outlier Agencies. And now we're about to get something to eat. I just want to tap in with you guys and show you pretty much what I do. On a realistic day, I will actually spend eight hours on my computer. I'm not even exaggerating, but I got to get work done. I got to get stuff done so then I can go enjoy my life. You got to balance things out. It's not all party. So I want to keep you guys realistic and be transparent with you here. I'll catch you guys in the next clip. What are my thoughts on MRR, monthly recurring revenue? And what else you say? What are achieving financial freedom. If you guys didn't see the Sneeko podcast, which a lot of you did because that's how you found my channel, me and Sneeko both have monthly recurring revenue. It's the most important business model and online business model to have set up nowadays. You only really got to sell to one customer and they turn into lifetime customers or recurring uh, transactions pretty much, recurring payments. So you have to compare physical goods and digital goods at a product or a service, right? And it's kind of a perfect meeting point for a digital product that can be a service, which is go high level, for example, or running an online agency or running something of that of that nature. Anything that has repeating uh, revenue per customer is very powerful because it's going to help you build that recurring money coming in every month and actually help you build a life of financial freedom. It's very important to start buckling down and actually setting systems set up because when things do get worse, you want to be on the right side of history and not you know down bad somewhere or working a bad job. Mitch just asked me, I'm a peasant, how can I be like you? I've never seen a supercar work at McDonald's. The most important part and the most important way to separate yourself and start leveling up is to actually equip yourself with the correct knowledge to make this possible. I swear I sound like Ty Lopez, the knowledge thing with the Lamborghini in the back. But like, it's a meme, but it's also kind of facts that you have to have certain information that most people don't have. And then once you get the information, you need to actually take action on it. Half of it is having the knowledge and the other half is actually being proactive and taking action. I have another friend of mine 
who knows a whole bunch of stuff about crypto, knows a whole bunch of stuff about economical stuff. He doesn't do anything with the information. He literally just sits on it, he works a regular job, and I don't know why he just doesn't apply himself to be better, and maybe he's just comfortable in the situation he's in, but I don't want that, I really don't want that to be you guys. I really want you to be able to absorb the information that you see online from me and other creators that talk about business stuff as well as self-improvement stuff and actually apply it to your real life. Now, over the last you know year, year and a half, I've really been able to double down on the information I've learned and then also apply it in my own life. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I don't want to make too many of these because they'll get repetitive, but to go ahead and expand my kind of content, I do want to integrate some lifestyle stuff. So I would really appreciate it if you left a comment, or give me some honest feedback. I, I will take it into consideration, but guys, I'll see you in the next video.